Woods, and I'm from Seattle, Washington. My, my grandfather was Sam Klein, K-L-E-I-N, and he was born in this town in 1903. I believe that his father was a tailor. So um, Nathan Klein, I believe, uh, was a tailor. Uh, he came from a family of uh, six children. Uh, his father's name was Nathan, after whom I'm named. And his mother's name was Leah, or Lena. I named my daughter after my great-grandmother. Uh, the family moved to Chicago in stages between 1906 and 1911, 1912. Generally, um, the desire to have a better life. Um, my grandfather did not talk very much about his upbringing, and it was only recently that we discovered that he came from this town. Um, when he was um, an adult, uh, and my mother would ask him, where did you come from? He would say, I don't remember. So he just didn't want to talk about this. He, his family moved to Chicago. They never looked back. They never thought about where they came from. But basically, um, it's very important for me in modern America, uh, where I think there's a tendency to make everyone um, homogeneized, make everyone the same. It's very important for me to understand where I come from. Um, and politically, um, I'm very concerned about what's happening in the Middle East. And as an American Jew, I think it's very important for me to find my roots in Eastern Europe, not in the Middle East. Um, and so in the last 25 years, I've, um, I've wanted to discover more about where my family has come from, um, and that's the reason I'm here. Politically, for me, that's a, a, a motivating factor that uh, Jewish people in the United States understand that we don't come from Palestine, um, that at least Ashkenazi Jews, that this is where we come from. Um, and it's very important um, that um, I understand that and that I pass it on to the next generation. I took my children to my wife's mother's town in Czechoslovakia, or in the Czech Republic. Um, at some point, I will take them here, as well as to uh, Slonim, where my uh, paternal grandfather comes from. My grandfather, when he came to the United States, um, he ended up as a furrier, so he sewed fur coats um, for people to buy. So that's what he ended up at, at, in terms of his career. Thank you. Yeah. And you are free to use us any way you wish. <laughs>